Hello everyone, this is Spectre Fox, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Violet. In the last episode, we traveled east from Mesa Goza in search of the of the Rock Face Titan, and I believe we're gonna throw down with it right now. Uh, Cloth's a rock type, so let's move Cilantro in front. Uh. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's see. Oh, first. This is important. Boop. Ah, nope. Okay. I deserved that, probably. Yeah. Let's get back up there, Miradon! No! Okay. Um. Oh, actually, I thought I saw some oh, Growlithe around here, and I forgot to catch it because I was uh, too focused on the giant cloth on the wall. So if I see that guy again, I'm going to catch him. Yoink. Ooh, and there's an item here, too. Yoink. All right. Back to the mission for realsies. Yep. Uh, what's that? No, from 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 the angle, I thought that uh that, that the gulpin was a sneasel because of the little feather thing, but no, that's not sneasel. That is gulpin. Uh, how do I get out of this little bowl area? Oh, I I probably got a platform, don't I? Okay. Or do I just like go up here? Oh yeah, I just go up here. Arrived at our destination. Okay. So, oh, yep, there, there's the boyo. All right. Time for crab. Gah! Cloth the stony cliff titan. All right, let's sharpen up. Yeah, we got this in the bat in the bag. All right, all right, cilantro. It's time to light this up. Uh. Gorgeous, simply divine. And seat bomb. Oh, yeah. Well, that went a lot more smoothly than the last one. Hey! I'm not done with you yet! I may have just... Okay, I'm over here now. Yep, time for phase two. And Arvin's here again. Spectre, you found it! And that thing's the Stony Cliff Titan? No cloth has got any business being that big. Is it gonna get even stronger now after eating those herbs? Let's watch ourselves, Spectre. I, I've got this handled, but I appreciate you helping. Alright, yeah, let's not waste time with we'll setup. Let's go straight into the big guns. Light it up, cilantro. Oh, you've got shelter now. Alright, as I was saying, let's light it up. Very, very nice. And seed bomb. That's what I'm talking about. That's not what I'm talking about. 
I forgot you had that! This could be a problem. But probably not. Yeah, if you do dumb things like that. Alright. Let's finish him. Or... Or you can kill Steel Arvin, that's fine too. We defeated the Titan Cloth! Oh, Cilantro, you're such a cutie. Ooh, Grimble learned Toxic Spikes, yes please! Uh, we can ditch Tail Whip for Toxic Spikes. Poof! Alright, look at my little buddy coming through like a champ. But these Titan Pokemon are yeesh. I sure don't like having something so tough out to get me. They're not out to get you. You're out to get them, I thought. I bet somewhere in here there's more of that Herba Mystica that a Titan was eating. Quick, let's have a look around before it comes back. Righto. If we're lucky, there'll be another herb here. There's a Pokeball. I knew it! Oh, this one's pink. It really is here. This is one of the herbs, make no mistake. We found the sweet server Mystica. Alright. Alright, Arvin, what does your book have to say about this one? It says here that the sweet herba mystica is good for gut health and that it helps aid digestion. Says it's great for stomach aches too, or when you want to stimulate the old appetite. Your hair is clipping into your face, Arvin. That is not a good look for you. Well, what are we waiting for, Spectre? It's time to dig in. Let me whip something up for us! I don't feel like screaming today. And Bob's your uncle. Here you go. My special, whimsical, herb-filled super sandwich. And it comes with a side of Titan Badge. As a token of my gratitude, course. Okay, that's cute. I wonder, is Miradon gonna sneak up on us? Agios. Oh, come on, you again! Yes, he is my boy. Yes, I want to give my sandwich to Miradon. Gions. Hm, is it trying to say thanks or something? Well, good thing I made extra. You're helping me out a whole bunch with the hard stuff, so it's only fair that you get more. I definitely, absolutely did not make extra so that Miradon can have a sandwich, okay? Well, I want extra so I can give Miradon a sandwich. He is a hard worker, he deserves it. Agios! He can dash now, okay. Did it grow stronger again? Agios! Man, these Herba Mystica really do pack a punch, don't they? I mean, they'd better, or else I'm really up the creek. Oh no, Miradon, are you going to steal Arvin's sandwich? Agia? Don't you dare touch that! That isn't for you! Agia? Oh, uh... Sorry, I shouldn't have shouted like that. I guess I should at least tell you the full story, Spectre. 
Ooh, backstory. Come on out, bud. This is Mabostiff, my partner. Uh, Gia? Oh, he's an old dog. Here you go, bud. Eat up. This sandwich should make you, it help you feel better. Slowly now. Take your time. Small bites are just a star fine. Just chew nice and slow. Uh oh. Old puppy. My buddy here was hurt pretty bad a while ago. Real bad, in fact. He never fully recovered. Have you tried the Pokemon Center? They said this wasn't any regular old injury or illness. Mabo Stiff is here is the only thing in the world I care about. The only thing. So I promised that I'd make him better. Whatever it takes. I searched online, I read books, I looked all over and tried every cure and remedy I could find. But nothing really worked. I'd almost given up hope. That's when I found out about the Herba Mystica. That book, what is it? I found it in my dad's lab. Area Zero was home to wondrous herbs that instantly imparted vigor when eaten. We dubbed them Herba Mystica and attempted to grow some in areas around Paldea. However, before we could harvest, the herbs were eaten by Pokémon, which in turn grew large and strong. We call these Titan Pokémon. There's an Eevee and a Gibble. Does that mean there's gonna be a Titan Guard Chomp? Oh no! It's this book full of crazy stories and legends and things. Stuff nobody'd usually believe. But I believe it. I think what it says is true. And according to this book, Eating all five Herba Mystica can cure anything that ails you. Case in point, Mabo Stiff's paws were cold as ice before he ate that last herb. But they've warmed up a little now. I'm sure they have. Oh, you done eating, bud? Oh, puppy. Hey! Mabo Stiff, can, can you see? Are your eyes open? Yes, I did it! It's... it's been so long since he was able to open his eyes. I was so worried. Oh, man, I'm so... I'm so glad. <laughs> oh, look at him. Those fiery orange little eyes. Hard to even tell if they're open or not, but I know the difference. The power of these herbs is amazing! I knew the book wasn't lying! I'm gonna bring Mabo Stiff back to full health, I swear it! Oh, uh, yeah. So that's my story. Three herbs to go. Let's find them together. Agia, Agia! You know, Arvin, I had you pegged for a bad guy, but if you're trying to help dogs, you can't be completely bad. Hello, Spectre. This is Turo. I detect that Miradon has regained more of its original power. It seems it will now be able to dash at high speed while you're riding upon it. I can dash by pressing the left stick, but watch out for trees while dashing at high speeds. A uh, few strike shield. Oh, so I can ram trees now! I am relying on you to continue taking good care of Miradon. Alright, Doc. Let's try this out. Neom. All right. Well, where to next? Well, I think we're almost, almost all the way to Artisan, so we might as well, well get all the way there. Boop. Oh, but first, let's see if we can find a Growlithe. I know I saw one around. I just forgot to snag it. There was also a trainer too, who I just blew past to fight Big Cloth. Uh, let's put Grimble back in front. And start the search. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, was it over here? Okay, so there's the trainer guy who I missed. I know I saw a Growlithe around. Oh, 
Oh, I guess he's gone now. That's too bad. I like puppies. There was that rock wall! There was a that Pokemon! Incredible, you know? Oh, I know. Challenged by Laura the Artist. Oh, and you've got Vivalon. That's good taste. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's go for Poison Tail. First of all, rude. And Poison Tail. Uh, let's try again. Okay, that is irrelevant. Poison? No. Yeah, keep lowering my special attack because that's definitely what I'm throwing at you. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna bother with the Paralyzed Heal because you'll just stun Spore again. And Poison Tail! Yeah! One more hit'll do it. Come on, Grimble, I believe in you. Yes! Very, very nice. Citrus wants to learn Bite. Uh, what do your stats look like, actually? Are you more of a... Okay, yeah, you're definitely more on the physical end than the special end. Uh... I definitely want to keep Nuzzle. And I want an Electric Stab, even if it's scaling off my lower uh, stats. Uh, yeah, I think Quick Attack's gonna be more, more helpful than, a uh, Bite, so I'm going to not learn Bite. I think losing to you has calmed me down. Uh, yeah, clearly. Alright. Uh, let me talk to you. Enjoy picnicking! I would gladly take a minute to rest and refuel. All right. Uh, yeah, I didn't climb this tower yet. Let's do that. Or did I? I don't think I did. But I could be remembering wrong. I am stupid sometimes. Let's see. Ooh, there's a TM and a Gimme Ghoul. Metronome? Alright, random chaos is fun. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother fighting that uh, Gimme Ghoul. Ah! Ah! Okay, I... Okay. That happened. Okay. So, this way to the city. Shame that I missed, missed uh... Growls, but I can find one later. It's no biggie. Oh! Boy! Tiny boy! Friendly boy! Good boy! Goodest boy! Oh, wait, you're a girl. Good girl! Goodest girl! Alright, uh, nest ball, go! Yeet! One, two, three, click! Very, very nice. And a level up. Let's see. It's very friendly and faithful to people. It will try to repel enemies by barking and biting. You're such a good dog. Moving right along. 
Uh, oh, okay. What could be in there? Oh wait, oh wait. That right. That's where uh, we got the Arbor Mystica. But there was a there was a Pokeball in like the cutscene. Uh, but I can't go inside. Okay. Yoink. I wonder what that was about. It's whatever. Yoink. 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 Uh, have I fought you? I have not. Uh, let's just auto heal real quick. And fight you. I'm doing the treasure hunt too, and no fresh faced kid is gonna beat me! Alright, Christina. This is not a positive matchup, so let's fix that. Stingmon, I choose you! Oh. That is so rude. So, so rude. Alright, let's fix that. Awakening. Boop. Eh. Oh, but that means you can't hypnosis me. So I win! <laughs> Alright, assurance, go! Yep, that'll do. Level up! I decided, Murkrow, we are playing on set mode. Even though I would like to switch. And now I will switch. Uh, like Grimlock could probably handle this matchup, but it's but uh, I should switch in like the one who resists its one its stabs, uh, or one of its stabs at least. All right, let's try Electro Ball. There we go. Defeated Christina the student. If that's how you battle, I'm sure you'll be able to find your treasure. I bet I will too. I've already found many treasures, they're called my friends. Uh, what do we have here? A great ball. Look, they're coming up on the city now. I right, let me just yoink. Boom! Hello there, student. Yay! You came. So, want to battle? Uh, I will battle you, small child. Amaya, the student. All right. What do you got? Happini. Good choice. Alright, uh, yeah, let's just go for Poison Tail and hope to poison it. Break through the, uh, uh, well, I guess, I don't know, Happini probably has, has like, a proportionately huge HP stat for, like, an unevolved baby Pokemon. I'm just assuming, based on what it evolves into. Poison tail, go! Oh, that was quick. Alright, what do you have to say for yourself? You battled really good, thank you! You know, compliments from children are always honest. So that's how you know you're doing good if a, if a kid compliments you. I just snag those. And then, yum! Alright, yeah, I'm, I'm liking this turbo function. 
And we arrive at Artisan. Now let's see what the gem challenge is over here. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Jim, Jim. Uh. I thought I saw it. Oh! Oh, that's funky. Surrendering some flora. A work by Brasius. Okay, so this gym leader's an artist. He's a sculptor. Okay. There's the gem. Mm. I like the music here. It's chill. I bet that thing over there is where I'm going to be doing the uh, gym challenge. Well, let's find out. Shroomish! Via Spectre! It's so wild that we ended up randomly visiting the same gym at the same time again! What a weird coincidence. Yeah, it is kinda weird, now that you mention it. I swear, I'm not sneaking ahead of you so I, I can line when I go- Oh, wow, weird! Might as well battle you now that you're here! No, seriously, look, to prove it, I won't even challenge you to a battle this time. Much as I'd like to. But look at you and your Pokémon! They've gotten- they've definitely gotten stronger since last time! Add these to the mix, and you'll be 100% set to go, no problem. Oh, thank you. I'll be cheering for you. I'll go train, like, maybe 20 Pokémon or so while you tackle this, Jim. You do you. Artisan Jim, what's the challenge here? My name is Spectre. So what's the gym test? That means completing a game of some flora, hide and seek. The artwork made by people here is largely inspired by nature and the sun that nurtures it. Since some flora embody these concepts, we try to gather them and take good care of them. Aww. Your job is to find the sun flora located throughout Artisan. Remember, these Pokemon look like sun-shaped flowers. Gather up ten of them and break them to the Sunflora lawn, and you pass the test. Alright. Two are some flora statues after those. Alright, sounds good. Alright, folks. We will begin the Artisan on the Gym test in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. This is Spectre Fox signing off. I will see you next time.